are you working in a company and are you working on any projects when we are working on a projects we have to handle multiple tasks the tasks that need to be completed on time on particular date so in order to see which employee or which team member is on what particular progress so what is the general application or general tool that we use when we are working in a company to monitor or to go through the task of a project or we can i can call it as if you are dealing with a project management there are multiple tools that are available in the market let for example i can give you as a microsoft uh, project planner right microsoft planner so we have this planner you know which is being used in a multiple ways but do you know that in power bi we have a visual which will help us to go through and uh, give us a complete visual analysis of how the project management is being done so what is that particular visual hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand what is the use of gantt chart in power bi where to find the gantt chart in the power bi desktop and how to use it in power bi desktop by the end of this video you could able to learn and get a very excellent idea on how we have to work on the gantt chart and its properties so watch till the end my dear viewers if i show you a data that i have it here always remember that if we are working on a gantt chart so first we should know why this gantt chart is used this gantt chart is used to understand the project planning the task the uh, time frame so in order to know the status of the work we use the gantt chart and to use the visual as a gantt chart to showcase our work so now so gantt chart we do not have it in the default visuals we have to get it from a marketplace so when i'm telling that this we have to get it from a marketplace in a technical terminology i can tell it as gantt chart is a custom visual it is not a default visual so my dear viewers as you can see that here all these visuals that you are seeing these all are are the default visuals these are not the custom visuals so we have to get the gantt chart from the custom visual so for this i am just clicking on more options and i have an option called get more visuals so if i click on this get more visuals we can see that there are n number of visuals that we have it here on the custom visuals so who can access this custom visuals custom visuals are accessed by those who are having the power bi license either you can consider the premium license or we can consider the pro license so when you have the license you can log in and you can use all these custom visuals now the point is that when i am telling custom visuals then what exactly is a custom visual apart from the default charts that we have power bi is having a separate custom visual section where we can get n number of animated charts n number of visuals from a custom visual or i can tell it as a advanced visual so now my dear viewers as we all know that we are using uh, mobile phones right so either that might be android phone or that might be apple phone so now when i am using an android phone we have play store and when we are using apple phone we have app store so now in these two if we would like to go and find some application or install some application we go there and as soon as we open up our play store as soon as we open up our app store we can see that there are n number of applications whichever application we want we will search that and we will click on it when we click on it again you can see that the description about the application the reviews about the application the ratings about the application few screenshots of that applications how to use and some description about it am i right so uh, exactly in the same way exactly as how we have the app store and the play store and where we can see n number of applications in power bi also we have something called as custom visuals where we have n number of visuals whichever visual we would like to have that visual we have to search it and we have to click on it so now if we can see that we have to go and search for the chart called gantt chart so g a n t t so we have the gantt chart as you can see that gantt chart this is certified by the microsoft okay so this is approved from the microsoft so now if i click on this gantt chart as soon as you click on the gantt chart it will tell us what is the use of this gantt chart 
okay when it was updated as you can see that there is an overview of this particular chart and you can see that this was updated on this particular date okay so why this chart is used it is a type of bar chart to illustrate a schedule with time access all right so once we are here you can click on add as soon as you click on add we will get the visual in our visual section so from here we can go and access our gantt chart so before accessing this gantt chart it is very important for us to understand the data it is very important for us to understand the data so the data that we are working on to prepare to create a gantt chart okay so that visual i'm going that particular uh, data that i am going to show it to you and explain about the data so my dear viewers the data that we have it here it is a csr project data it is a csr project data now what is csr corporate social responsibility so what is meant by csr corporate social responsibility what exactly does this mean so now the point is that in every organization what happens is that there will be some a section called as csr which they have to do it as part of uh, their uh, rules and regulations as per the organization so what exactly happens in csr is that as part of csr ac activities the organizations will go and do some social service social service it might be any part of social service they will do the social service so that kind of data that we are going to see it here so as you can see that the project that we have at we have the csr plantation data and the government school painting they visit the government school and they have done some painting so when this particular project was started when this particular project was ended so we have the start date we have the end date now what is the project name that project also we have it and what are the tasks that we have for each kind of project that is also mentioned here and we have poc POC is nothing but the point of contact okay so who is the point of contact for this particular project so that is also those employees information also we have it here and what is the progress of this particular project so if it is completed then it is 1 if it is not started then it is 0 if it is in progress then uh, how much process uh, till it has completed and uh, what, how much it is remaining that we have it here and uh, so that's the status if it is completed not completed not started so all these informations also we have it here and the milestone okay when it was initiated and all those things we have it here so this is the data now let's go and work on this particular gantt chart so i am clicking on gantt chart here so as soon as we have clicked on gantt chart okay we have got the skeleton so now what i am going to do let us see here my dear viewers we have some options here right legend task parent start date end date and all those things okay so now what i am going to take okay first it is asking us the legend so let me inform you that legend is some extra information to the visual so that we will consider it later on now let me go and guide you over the next one task as we already have here the task and we also have the task column so that task i am going and dragging it here into this particular task section so we have got the task and now as you can see that as soon as i have dragged the task we have got a visual and this visual is something looking like a bar chart no all the bars are there with the different uh, task that it is allocated but it is still that we have to enter the data field section so now parent parent is nothing but the important part of the data parent is nothing but the important part of the data so here what i am going to choose here i am going to choose the project here i am going to choose the project under the task here i am going to choose the project so under if you can see that under csr government and under csr plantation what all the things that we have it that it is clearly visible here so now the start date as we have the start date let me choose the start date here and as well as we have the end date that end date also i will choose it here so we have the start date we have the end date okay so now we can see that the frame the time frame that you can able to see here as you can see january 7th january 14th january 21 january 28 february 4th february 11th february 18 so we have the time frame okay on what basis this time frame is weekly monthly okay that also we are going to see it under the formatting section so what we have got it here 
we have got the start date we have got the end date we have got the uh, task we have got the parent now let us see how much percentage of work it got completed you know that percentage of completion also we have it that we will go and choose it progress here okay what is a progress so we have got sum of the progress as you can see so we have got the sum of the progress okay so after this one okay so we have resource you know to whom this particular uh, project or task was being assigned so resource is the is a person name so i have chosen the point of contact now as you can see that okay this particular task okay it is assigned to raj now it is assigned to karnav it is mithil okay it is assigned to kashish okay we have some names here am i right okay so now after completion of all these things i still feel that there is something that we have to give some information so that uh, we can come to know the exact information of how much work is done and all so for that i am going to add the legend so for this legend what i am going to do is that in this legend i am going to add something called as status as soon as i have added the status my dear viewers you see this what exactly is happening as you can see that there are some different colors that we have it because depending upon the status and here we have the status details as we can see it here we have you know uh, light blue it's complete you know dark blue it's in progress process and uh, the orange color it's not started yet okay so so it is completed you know what all the blue colors that we are seeing it it is completed here as you can see that the 100% complete so legend task so now the point is that now the point is that if we see here okay if we see here there are different again sections right so now just let me just go and explain this particular part here why it is half dark and half light color okay so now when i place a cursor as you can see that it is only 50% completed what's happening here it is only 50% completed and for whom it it's for mithal right the work is in process still when it was started and when it was ended that also we have it here so now let me guide you over the formatting part here when i come to the formatting part in the formatting i am going for the visual formatting okay so let me go and guide you over the general settings so in the general settings as you can see that okay so the duration units it is in days okay it is in days and now the bars rounded as you can see that there are rounded at the corner so let it be rounded which is looking very interesting and beautiful so next we will go with the legend so we do not have any issue with the legend it is very safe in the right side here okay so let's keep it there now when i come to something called as a data labels so my dear viewers here the data labels as you can see that these are coming you know after the uh, the bar after the bar if you want you can change the position as well it's up to you if you want to go inside or if you write to right side or if you want on top it is purely on our choice whatever we would like to have it but it should be clearly visible and understandable all right so data labels are done then we go with the option called date type as you can see the date type so we have something called as date type if i just go through this date type we can see that it is weekly mentioned right so if i want i can go and change it to monthly okay as you can see that in the month so what is the progress and how if you do not want to go with the monthly or weekly if you would like to go on a day wise we can go with the day wise if you want to go in a quarter wise we can go it in a quarter wise if you would like to go in a year wise we can go it in a year wise as you can see that the time frame here it is getting changed okay i'll go with the weekly because every particular organization the manager or the team leader they would like to see the status of the employees weekly so it's better to open up and show the visual in a weekly perspective okay so we have got the date type as well so now as you can see the op there is an option called as a task completion okay if i would remove the task completion okay if i just switch it off every particular bar as you can see that it will be completely full okay it will be completely full with the entire color so there will be no difference there will be no difference so it is better to have the task completion because it will indicate us okay how much percentage of work it is completed as you can see that spot ident okay the legend so every information it will be clearly visible with this particular task completion 
so these are the different perspectives that we have to consider whenever we are trying to create the gantt chart and here if i would like to just you know close it up so everything will come in a one single line it's of no use to show it you can elaborate it okay that's not a problem you can elaborate it uh, till how much particular uh, point that we have completed the task and all that it is clearly visible in the task bar okay that is very clear in the task bar task completion so if you would like to off it yeah it's again the different perspective but we could not able to predict anything from this particular point so my dear viewers as you can see that when these informations we are able to show it in a gantt chart we can see how which employee has completed how much amount of work what percentage of work it is completed and what is the probable step that we have to take it in order to show or give some guidelines over uh, completing it on time that is the suggestion that we can give to our particular team members in an organization so in this video we have learned what exactly is a gantt chart we have seen from where we have to get the gantt chart and we have also learned how to work on a gantt chart in power bi Thank you for choosing Nahab Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.